Hey everybody, it's your favorite kitchen superhero. I'm here today to show you how to make garlic scape and basil pesto. That's right, you are in for a treat. If you don't know what a garlic scape is and you love garlic like I do, you're gonna be in for such a treat. Now the pesto is gonna be amazing on pastas and sauces over chicken. Ooh, it's so good. So let's do it. Okay, first you're gonna take your lovely garlic scapes and you're gonna cut off the flower part and then if there's any woody ends on it, you're gonna to wanna to cut those off too. So it's really simple, you're just gonna discard that and see if there's any hard wooden ends. And then of course you can chop them up into a little bit of smaller pieces um, for easier blending. You can also use these to saute and put over your steaks and or just as a yummy, delicious side dish if you love it. Oh my gosh, you smell this stuff. Okay, the recipe is so simple, you won't believe that you haven't done it yet. So I've got two cups of freshly picked um, basil. I'm gonna stuff that in there. Make sure it's stuffed in there so you get a lot, okay? A lot in there, because basil rocks. Basil is amazing. Okay, and then you're gonna go ahead and put your one and a half to two cups of your garlic scapes. You can also sub for garlic as well, okay? So you're just gonna make that in there. And then I've got about a half a cup of toasted pine nuts. And you can use walnuts if you want. I love pine nuts. And you wanna toast them so you get all of that yumminess out. And then we are going to use one and a half cups of extra virgin olive oil, okay? And we're gonna put that in there. We're gonna keep it simple by putting it all together. And then I've got about a half a cup of Parmesan in there. We're gonna, it's roughly chopped up. We're gonna add that creaminess of it. And then of course, we're gonna add just a squeeze of lemon, freshen it up because hello, who doesn't love that, right? So, we are going to go ahead and use your food processor <laughs> and do it. Hang on. All right. I'm going to raise the camera. Okay, this is what it looks like, you guys. All done. Look, creamy, thick, deliciousness. You can blend it even more if you'd like. And then we're, I'm going to go ahead and put it in a jar. I'm gonna stick it in my fridge for all a bunch of upcoming meals. There you have it. 